So I have been waiting for the product launch of Photo Vibrance because I just find their video promotions really, really cool and impressive. I honestly have been looking for a web app or an application that I can download on my desktop exactly like what Photo Vibrance can do for my photos. And so when it's finally live for purchase, I am probably one of the first on the waiting list. And before we start, make sure you do subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips, reviews, and recommendations. And as usual, in my reviews, we're going to take a look at photo vibrance in terms of its ease of use, pricing, and effectiveness. First thing, we will be working on two projects using the two main features of photo vibrance. We have the magic motion and 3D parallax effect over here. The projects that I'll be working on are two photos from different industry. First is this photo. Let me flash it out on your screen so you guys can see. We're gonna try to make the sand move a little along with the sky while the car stays still. The other photo has the Instagram vibe, a woman holding some flowers, a bouquet of tulips. So we're gonna try to make her three-dimensional with the 3D parallax effect. How we're gonna do that, let us see what's inside photo vibrance and let's actually start. So just let me drag and drop the image card drift and we will start with the magic motion. As categorized, it has easier editing process. Then we are prompted to choose the size and format. We can go for landscape, square or vertical and even custom size, but I will keep the image as it is. So we got very minimal tools here. On the left side, we have the text. So the interface is really very similar to Create Studio. And then we have image effects. So we've got overlays, moving skies, which we can most probably use for our projects. You also have the shapes, basically everything that we need for editing. And on the upper is more on the customization of the motions. For us to understand these tools better, let us try to start editing and adding motion to our image. So the anchor will allow us to draw on the edge of the part where we want the photo to be on motion. You can choose between single or anchor path, whichever you're comfortable to use. I think if your image is too rocky or there's a lot of areas that you need to cover, single path would be better. But if it's linear or doesn't have lots of curve, a path would be okay. So after covering, we can now add the direction of the motion. In this case, the sand drift is going to the right of my screen, so we're going to point to that direction. You can also choose between using an arrow or simply a path if you don't want a straight or linear path and if your image has lots of movement. It's going to take me some time so we can fast forward it. And look at that. I super love the effect, but of course that is just the beginning of it. We can of course do some more adjustments and then also try to replace the sky with a moving one from their effects. So to make sure the sky is well covered, we need to draw a mask using this brush. It looks easy, except when we are near to the edge, like we want to make sure to cover only the part that we want to move. Apparently, I'm trying my best now to be as accurate as possible. That was the first preview and it looks super, super cool. I'm gonna keep my thoughts for later as now I can wait to move on to our second project. What 3D Parallax Effect does is that it makes the center or focus image appear closer to your screen, like literally gives you the three dimensional vibe. So if you wanna make a beautiful photo look even more beautiful and interactive, this effect would definitely work for sure. Before you start another project, you will be prompted again to choose whether you will be using the magic motion 
or the 3D parallax. In our case, we will proceed with the 3D. So again, you can choose whichever size you want your photo to be. And the first thing that we're gonna do is to cut the object that you wanna focus on. In this case, the woman in the middle. Once we click next, it will turn into a black shade because this time around, we need to cover it up by cloning the background. Now, if you've noticed, it's taking me some time to fully cover it. However, in reality, you don't really have to make it very, very perfect. I'm just a little perfectionist, so I want it to be clean and to be sure that it will turn out great. It also depends on your background. Like I chose a photo with a blurred background to make it easier for me. Just I'm kind of having a bit of trouble in the lights. So let me just speed up my editing. And that's as far as I could get. So the next step is to start the motion. The woman comes back to the actual image and you've got the timeline below to guide you in setting up your effect. The keyframe over here will determine the motion of your image. In my case, I want the girl to be zoomed in at the beginning and rotated a little. Then for our next motion, we just need to add another keyframe because this is a slow motion effect let us drag the keyframe until four seconds. So you can either adjust the zoom and rotation in the camera icon or on your toolbar at the right. And when you preview, it looks nice and decent. Now we're gonna add some more few touches. I like that we can change the colors of these petals. Like originally it was pink, but the color rotation allows us to adjust it otherwise. So we can get this beige color that perfectly blends onto our photo. So let me now show you our final preview and then I'll be sharing with you guys some of my thoughts on Photo Vibrance. As I've mentioned earlier, the interface is very close to Create Studio, of course, coming from the same creator and developer, but lesser elements since the main focus is to enhance the images and create the stunning magic motion effect and the 3D parallax vibe. It won't really take you a lot of time to study the platform because you will only need a few tools, although I did find drawing the mask a bit difficult because there's no undo if you happen to pass through the edge that you want to cover. Good thing there is an erase mask to remove any extra brush or if we went beyond the border. And for the 3D parallax effect, I did struggle a bit with the cloning part, so we're gonna have to work on it for quite some time. Other than that, I find it really easy and fast to use, and I did enjoy using the software because I love the effects it can put onto my images, so it's a five-star rating for me. When it comes to pricing, Photo Vibrance offers a $39 one-time payment for personal use and $49 also for a lifetime for commercial use. I purchased the commercial one because I had a feeling since the beginning that I may use it for commercial purposes and for multiple projects. The pricing isn't bad. I do think with this kind of technology that you get to pay for a lifetime deal is a gem. It's not a waste of time and money, so I'm going for a five-star rating again. Okay, now I'm sure you've seen that I'm satisfied with the product, so I can assure you that it is effective for my projects. But the main question is, who is Photo Vibrance for? Of course, someone like me who creates lots of marketing and promotional ads. And that's why I'm on a commercial license. And I do think Photo Vibrance is perfect for Instagrammers. You know, it really catches anyone's attention 
or if you are a photographer and you want more enhancement to your photos. Overall, I like Photo Vibrance. I think it is impressive, youthful, and common. Like if you're gonna ask me which one to pick between a still photo and a photo that has that 3D dimensional effect, I would choose that one with motion, the one that stands out. As part of my routine, let me give it the perfect score. You can access and check out more about Photo Vibrance on the description box. And if you guys like my reviews and have been watching my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. Also check out our Facebook and Instagram page where you can get more updates, some helpful tips on digital marketing at Cup and Ads.